Hello, this is Semporal, and this is Brutally Honest Bandai Kids. And this is the Entrigrade RX 93 FF New Gundam from Psydef. Yeah. I got this guy off of, uh, uh, what's it called? Suru Gaia? I think that's pronounced, I think that's how you pronounce it. Probably, I don't know, but you can get some nice uh, kits from Japan there. And like, there's P-Bandai stuff there too as well. So I'd recommend you buy from them. <laughs> they get free shipping sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, so this guy's just uh, just the entry grade version of it. Let's bring it a little bit closer. And it comes with the big ass beam funnel here. And uh, you know, I'll just display it like this for now. So I'll just bring in uh, another entry grade Nugan to compare. This is my custom one. So the only difference is just the big fin funnel and a set of open hands. So that's the only difference there. And okay, the decals, color scheme, you know, that's it. So the accessories wise, besides open hands, fin funnel, um, I have a runner here with the left third parts here. One for getting the fin funnel to shoot upwards. So I'm gonna cut these out right about now and I'll show you what each part does. And then after that, I will go over the articulation. So keep in mind, let me hang on here. All right, so we have the first part out here. I was cutting it with my little entry god hand here. So first off, we're gonna take off the fin funnel, not everything of the fin funnel. Oh shit, oh gosh, okay. Um, that part fell off. We're gonna take off this blue piece right here. If I can get it off, there we go. So we're left with this part right here. So we're gonna take these two parts off and we're gonna slide this part off. So I don't remember, very much remember how this could go, but depending on the orientation here, I'm guessing it goes like this. This is my first time uh, messing with this, first time transforming it, so I'll, it's, it should slide in there. I'll show you when it's done. All right, so we have the part in here. Next we get the thing right here. So this is a sticker. They're very nice stickers. They came out back in 2022. I've only seen them on this kit and one other, which is the high grade Kukuru's Doan's Zaku, which had it had these decals on there. And uh, that's also one of those. This, this was uh, like, there's one for this, but I just used red Sharpie for that. So yeah. I think it's the same for uh, this part as well. All right, so we just place the two parts like on those little pegs there. So it's gonna be in its open position. If I can get it there. All right, we have the fin funnel in its open position. Looks relatively nice. And let me cut out the other parts now. All right, so next we have this, which will go and hook up, I believe, like right here. Oh, no, it's backwards. Wait, maybe? There we go. Hooks up right there, and this will go onto this arm. I will, no, wait, yes. So we have the new... Fuck. <laughs> we have the new Gundam holding up its big rifle. That doesn't want to stand. Doesn't doesn't want to stand. But you know that's where that's where it goes. You know you get a pose like this. 
as it falls out. Okay, well, let me just uh, zoom out a bit so we get more coverage here. Next accessory is, let me get this thing back on the new Gundam. Come on. Alright, we have this part back on, and we get this part right here. So I believe this part will, um, attach like this, will attach like this, goes into the same little peg hole as, hang on. Oh jeez! I'll just I'll show you when it's done. And here we have it. It attaches on sideways. So we have it, and it's like a firing position or something. It looks fine. Just you know, looks fine there. It's still prone to falling off. So we'll just go over the articulation here for now. Well, for last year. Head is on a double ball joint, so you get like some nice of that. The other side did sideways. Can look up about that far, can look down about pretty darn far, and can rotate all the way around. Arms are on a ball joint that just like to fall off. Shoulders are separate. You get a about perpendicular arm raise and a single jointed bend at the elbow, and we have ball jointed hands, like usual. Forgot to do the, the accessories part. We have a beam saber right there. Front skirts are molded together, but you can theoretically clip them apart if you, can, if you know how to do it. Side skirts are on ball joints. So you get that about far. Legs can swing out just, just that far since they're on ball joints as well. The kicks are about that far, not bad. You get a nice bend right here. So some nice detail. You have the nice little thrusters right there. Legs are on C clips, so you get like a, about that much forward and pr pretty far back. You know, the same problem persists with a lot of injury grades where it will just fall under its own weight. Uh, I also topped with this guy, so you know, it's not entirely out of the box. And uh, chest can go like right here. And a little bit side to side and can rotate. Okay, so that's it for the articulation here and basically it for the whole review here. So this entry grade <laughs> this entry grade new Gundam is actually a pretty darn good entry grade. Well, the new Gundam was a good entry by itself, but it has this new accessory which makes it have nice weapons, except unlike the original it doesn't come with a shield and the beam rifle so keep that in mind but it has nice open hands and stuff decals look pretty nice as well they were pretty easy to apply and uh well this kit's pretty good except if it loosens up it'll be a bit shit so you know take care of it <clears throat> i'm like losing my voice here and it, uh, it's kind of hard to get, so, like, in America, the only way to get it is through P. Bandai. And the website I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So, yeah. This has been Temporal on Brutally Honest Bandai Kits with the Andrew Grade New Gundam, the RX-93FF from Side F. And, uh, 
I'd, I'd recommend this kit. It's like the entry grade, but a bit, tad bit better because of the open hands mostly. And uh, it's just very nice looking at. Nice color scheme, lights, decals, and I'm going to end the video here. And goodbye.